So in the previous particular class, we looked into what IoT was and why is it so important. Now let us look into the history of IoT and how it, how the IoT that we know today came into existence. The history of IoT goes back to the early 1970s. The actual idea of IoT was, however, proposed in 1970s, and the timeline of IoT's rise to one of the most important fields is as follows. In 1970, the actual idea of IoT was presented. In 1990, John Romke created a toaster that could be turned on or off over the internet with the use of the TCP IP protocols. In 1995, Siemens introduced the first cellular module built for M2M. In 1999, the term Internet of Things was used by Kevin Ashton during his work at PNG, which was widely accepted all over the world. In 2004, the term was mentioned in, this, in the famous publications like The Guardian, Boston Globe, and The Scientific American. In 2005, UN's International Telecommunications Union, ITU, published its first report on the topic of IoT. In 2008, the Internet of Things was officially born. And in 2011, Gartner, the market research company, included the Internet of Things technology in their research. So these are the very few important dates and the timeline on how on how things carried on. Now, while the idea of IoT has been in existence for a long time, a collection of recent advances in a number of different technologies has made it practical. So let's look into these particular different kinds of advances. Number one, access to low cost, low power sensor technology. Number two, connectivity. Number three, cloud computing platforms. Number four, machine learning and analytics. And number five, conversational artificial intelligence. Now, how these different advances helped in the emergence of IoT and what exact role do they play in the IoT network? We'll try to understand in the upcoming classes.